in my many, many, many years, uh, I have learned very little. I'm not good at very much either. But today, I've quit nicotine for a month. And I've quit it before, too. But I relapsed a couple years ago. And I only really have one piece of advice to give to those who are trying to shake the nicotine monkey. So, I'm weak. I love to smoke. And it's a hard thing to quit. When you quit something, you make your way out and you start to think, oh, I, I won't talk to them again. And how the hell do I pay rent? To be honest, I've never been able to quit smoking. I've tried patches and pills, but those just become ways for me to ingest more nicotine into my system. I've found that in my life, flipping my perspective has become one of my most valuable tools. So, the opposite of quitting is getting fired. Now, firing somebody isn't ever easy. It comes with bumps in the roads and things that will bite you that you never anticipated. But if somebody is a bad enough employee, if you don't fire them, they'll take down the whole company. Nicotine came into your life in whatever way it did. But it offered stress reduction and fitting in and an image. So, they didn't help you reduce your stress. In fact, they increased it. And they didn't help you fit in. In fact, they make you stand out even more. And the image? Well, let's be honest. The rest of the world has realized that the image just kind of stinks. So don't quit smoking. Fire it. It's a bad employee. It does not do the job it was hired to do. It'll hurt for a while to get back on track. But once you do, it'll be better for everyone if you just fire 